What's up, guys? Welcome to the CrossFit Grandview podcast. We are working on episode number 15 currently. This will be my last one, actually. This is it. Yeah, Joey is uh, Joey's taking off. Um, his soon-to-be wife, Maria, got a place for residency at the University of Penn, mm-hmm. Ivy League school. Yep. Out she, there in uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, she's smarter than me. Yeah. Very much so. So that's... It's bittersweet. It's very cool for you guys. Like I'm super stoked for you and super bummed for us yeah. because it's been you've been an amazing coach and I appreciate that. It's been really fun to have you and you've, you're like a in a lot of ways the face of the gym, you know. Yeah. So yeah. it's and, and like with the competition and everything. So um, so yeah, that's what we're going to talk yeah. about today is just kind of um, my journey here. Uh, what I've done since I've been here and things like that. Um, before we dive into it, though, we're going to talk about some cool things we've got coming up in the gym um, over the course of the next month. So, first thing we got going on is actually this weekend. Uh, it is the first or second, second, kind of the second, second. summer shred. Yeah, so uh, summer shred workout. Yeah. So I'll let Brandon talk about that. Yeah. So we tested our 5K last week, and then uh, we're going to uh, Hoover Dam out in Westerville and uh, they've got some huge stairs and hills there that we're going to be running um, we're meeting at 8 30 a.m uh, re- more realistically I want everyone to be there at like 8 20 because we're going to start at 8 30 you get there at 8 45 you're going to see us running and you're going to try and play catch up and figure out what we're doing so try and get there early um, if it is raining that day which it could be uh we will announce a contingency plan. We might be doing something at the gym. So we're still kind of ironing out the details, but Mm -hmm. we're planning on doing it. Um, There's like a small, like 25% chance of rain. So if it's raining, we're not running on steps. It's kind of sketchy. Yeah. Good idea. (laughs) Yeah. We're not going to do that, but this is one of the best ones. Um, This is a a workout that everyone remembers. I I remember everybody just talking about this one last year. It's, it's a butt kicker. Yeah, it really is. I've been doing, I've been doing like Hoover Dam workouts um, back when I worked at uh, in New Albany and Gehanna, we did them a lot, and so this is like ten years I've been doing these stair runs. And then uh, when I met Kate, she had like an actual workout that was really dialed in, and that took it up a notch. So this is cool. This is like probably the sixth or seventh year we've done basically the same workout. That's you know about a thirty to forty minute like stair running, hill running workout. It's yeah. pretty cool. Awesome. So, yeah, that's the, the Hoover Dam workout, Summer Shred. Um, like Brandon said, it's a Saturday. We have a contingency plan. Try to get there about 8.20 if you guys are planning on coming to that. Um, the following weekend, uh, that Saturday, we also have our first ever powerlifting meet. So, again, we're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, so, we got an 8.30 start time on the powerlifting meet. Are we going to do weigh-ins before that? Yes, I believe so, and, and we'll release details on Monday, mm-hmm. like how the, the meat flow and everything, and that's going to be on Wattify. We'll probably do another quick video just to detail everything, exactly how it's going to go. Yep. Yes, but I think we're going to do weigh-ins beforehand, uh, the order of the lifts. We'll, we'll have everyone's name in an order uh, It goes uh, squat, bench, deadlift. Yep. So that's the order of the lifts, and uh, so we'll weigh people in and then uh, break people up into groups figure out like the pinhole they're going to use and everything so we can move things we'll have uh, some volunteers helping with that and and then uh we'll kind of push people through those three lifts there's going to be no classes that day if you don't if you don't sign up for the uh power lifting meet don't come and come to class so we'll yeah. be announcing that and hammering that all week but there's no classes today everything will be uh focused on that power lifting day yep no open gym either Yep, yep, yep. So no open gym. We do have uh, a plan for you guys who still wanted to come and do a class. We are opening up Grandview Barbell and our Rev program to you guys. Um, we're running four classes that morning yep. um, on the hour, starting at 7, then 8, 9, and the last one being at 10 a.m. Yep. So if you guys want to try, try a, a Rev class out, it's a great opportunity. Come over there, check it out. We've got that new space, new equipment. It's it's looking pretty sweet over there. Yeah, I'm stoked for people to try this out. So if you have no interest in doing the powerlifting meet or testing out your your lifts, uh, come over, check out Rev. Uh, classes are capped at 15, so what we want you to do is sign up ahead of time, yes. and uh, you'll be able to uh, reserve your your 
time, um, I believe it's 24 hours in advance. Yeah, 24, 24 hours, a, we open a, it up. Yeah, yeah, 24 hours in advance. Mm -hmm. um, also, if you are not doing the powerlifting meet, Summer Shred is also meeting off-site yep. at High Banks. So High Banks is off of 23 out in Worthington yeah. type area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, again, you want to be there 10 minutes early. We'll be releasing the details of where in the park we're meeting. And we do roughly, like, it depends on who you are. Um, there's like a two and a half mile course and then one that's more like three and a half miles that we do and it's all trail running. So you're, everyone is uh, welcome to do that whether you're in the summer shred or not. So that's open to everyone. That's mm -hmm. gonna be an offsite workout. Yeah, so you got options on that day. You can do rev, you can, you can go run, you can do the powerlifting meet. So yeah, whatever you wanna do. Yep, cool. Um, so yeah, after that, we are having a little uh, going away party yep. for myself. Uh, so this is, what would we say, 12.30? Yeah, 12.30 p.m. About 12.30. Yep. So after the powerlifting meet, um, after high banks and everything, we're going to be over at Woodland's Backyard, hopefully playing some volleyball, having a couple drinks, hanging out. Uh, and uh, I really appreciate it. You know, a couple members and you kind of put this together yeah. as a little yeah. send-off for myself. Uh, it's, it's really appreciated. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone come on out. See Joey off. He'll still have another week at the gym, but... Um, That'll be your last time to probably see him outside of the gym hanging out yeah. and everything uh, before he takes off. So, yeah. Yeah. Come out to Woodlands. The last party we had at Woodlands was awesome. Oh, it was that, great. After the open party. So fun. Yeah. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So and, and, like, hopefully now that the weather's nice, we can all get out on the courts, yeah. play a little volleyball. So yeah. it'll be a good time. Yeah. I'm excited for that. But, yeah, with uh, me leaving, that's kind of what we're talking about here. Yeah. So, I mean, <clears throat> I was talking to Joey, so this is his last podcast here. Um, and what I wanted to focus on in this podcast is I just wanted to walk. I wanted Joey. Joey's been here longer than most of the members. So Joey's been here since uh, 2012, back all the way back at the old Rogue Gym. And then he's been a coach since about 2014. Yeah. And so I just wanted to kind of hand it over to Joey and uh, let him tell his story and his whole journey uh, with us at CrossFit Graham. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I got started with CrossFit. Um, my roommate at the time, Jimmy Barden, who he was a member at CrossFit Grand U as well yeah. with me. Um, we were doing the workouts at like the Art Pack and the Arc and, and trying to figure out what the hell CrossFit was. I remember trying to do an overhead squat for the first time, and I was like, "This is dumb. <laughs> I can't do this." Um, so my Jimmy, he uh, he did all their leg work, man. He found you guys online. He scheduled our, our element session. Yep. And we started CrossFit in June of 2012, which is mind-blowing to me that it's been seven years since I've started CrossFit. That's cool. It's nuts. Yeah. Uh, back then, I weighed like 150 pounds soaking wet. and I Couldn't grow a beard yet. Yeah, either. couldn't grow a beard. Yeah. <laughs> I started CrossFit. I put on 50 pounds and a beard. It was awesome. <laughs> um so yeah, we started CrossFit then. Uh, this, like you said, it was back at the old Rogue Gym. Yep. Yeah. So we were still called Rogue back. Then. Yeah, yeah. It yep. was like Rogue Fitness, CrossFit Gahanna. So we drive all the way out there from Ohio State's campus. I remember we'd always try and make the five thirty class and just hitting traffic and stuff, and it was a nightmare. Well, and you had to come off the highway and then yeah. So it didn't take that long to get from the highway there, but it was like, and it wasn't that far, but it was almost like. You were only halfway there because you had to go like down these twenty-five mile. Yeah, that, roads. that was the there biggest was pain traps. in the ass. Yeah. Those speed traps. You had to go twenty-five. Yeah. You were absolutely getting a ticket. Yep. Um, so during that summer, Jimmy and I were like, "Man, this is really cool," but like, I don't think we can continue to drive out here during the school, just because we're not going to have time. Oh, once school started. Yeah, once school started, yep. I was like, "I'm not going to have time." And then it was like such a blessing that you guys announced that you were moving over to where oh, we are currently. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Jimmy's like, oh, they're moving. Like, we can continue to do this. And I was like, hell yeah. Like, this is perfect. So Jimmy, he actually, like, helped you guys move, like we were talking about. He put all the equipment in his yep. uh, trailblazer. And, we yeah, had that was a good time, just moving all that stuff, getting settled into the gym. And, and uh, yeah, so that was, like, the first summer of CrossFit. Um, so I was there for a year. Uh, and then you guys kind of opened up the Level 2 programming that – yeah, like in the, like the fall, 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 winter of yeah. 13, we yeah. kind of started to see where we had a big gym. And I remember we'd been a competitive gym and it was, we needed like, um, there was a separation where we yeah. needed to kind of like 
move the programming mm -hmm. a little bit around to like serve both groups a little bit better. Yeah, and yeah. like, I mean, the reason I like fell in love with CrossFit was like I watched the games that year, yeah. and I was like, I want to do that. Absolutely. Like, yeah. I remember like trying to fall asleep and just thinking about like competing at the CrossFit games. Um, so yeah, like I I fell in love with it then. You guys started the level two program. And I remember trying to figure out double unders, and it was before I was going home for that winter break, and there was a workout, didn't have double unders in it, and I was like, hey, B, like, I don't have them checked off yet on this level two check sheet. Can I, can I do this workout with you guys? And I remember you being like, no, you don't have it checked off. Like, you have to do it. And that was, like, the best advice I've ever gotten just because I went home and that winter break, I did double unders every day. Oh, cool. I never heard this story. Yeah, yet. like, I... I did double unders religious. I'd go out in my garage. It was like 30 degrees out there. I'd have a hoodie on, just trying to figure out double unders. And like, I'm so happy that that happened because I came back and I had double unders down. Sure. I was, I was no problem with them. So I got that checked off and I started working out with level two guys. And uh, that's the year we did the first open. And uh, I remember like very early on <laughs> doing like the first open workout and I put my score in right after it. I did it, and it was on a Saturday, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm in, like, 20th place. This is awesome. You did pretty good on that first one, I yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and then you had a, You else. could snatch. I remember that was, like, a, a the strength snatch of burpee so You could one. snatch yeah. and do burpees. Like, you, you did work on that one, I yeah, remember. Yeah, that was a fun workout. Yeah. And then everybody else put their score in, like, Sunday night, and I was like, oh, I'm in 100th. Okay, never yeah. mind. Um, so that was fun, like, the first open. Um, so yeah, during this time, you know, I'm still in school and stuff, just – working out having a good time uh, i'm not taking it too serious like i'd still go out party on the weekends a yep. little bit come in super hungover and trying to sweat it out a little bit um and then that next summer is kind of when i got a little more serious about it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, re I remember i remember a workout i think i did with you um so that was kind of like my last year that i did like competed and uh i mean you were I, I remember knowing it was my last year specifically because of, of you and Andy. And I'm like, these guys, <clears throat> like I was, I was about as good as I was going to get. And then I remember like you guys were like just starting to scratch the surface of, yeah. of where you were at and you were a lot younger. And I'm like, uh, so it was only a few months after that. I think we did, um, that lumberjack 20 workout i remember that yeah yeah and it was it was like uh i think we sn kind of snuck into the gym um during an ohio state football game yeah yep, i yep. was literally just thinking about this yeah. yeah yeah and we snuck in there and then uh i think it was just like you me and kate yep yeah and you uh you were just motoring yeah. and i'm like this this dude is he's taken off yeah like i just remember you were just taken off you just you smoked us on it and like you just kept, you had that you could just go and yeah I'm like yeah he's got he's gonna he's i remember gonna get that good at this yeah. yeah it was just us three it yeah it was like awesome i didn't want to go to the game you just us three just sweating yeah it was such a good time yep that was cool um so yeah that's like how we got started and then uh that was in 2013 13 yep. yeah so then that year um i actually met someone at the gym where i got my first job paul hanlon um it was just you know owed to the gym they helped me out tremendously just connections you make there that happens a lot all now, the I mean. time i mean look at mandy she's employed yeah. three or four of our members or already pre pretentious pretentious is like yeah. completely staffed by crossfit yeah it's insane <laughs> you know um so that, yeah. that was awesome paul hooked me up with a job right out of college that was um, cool. and this was when i was trying to get a little more serious with crossfit and um in 2014 we did the open and i ended up qualifying for regionals and at the time, I was working for this dude, Paul, and I was driving all over the place. I mean, I drive to Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and, and try and do stuff. And my back would just, like, lock up on me as I try and do yeah. these workouts. Um, I remember you just taking me through just whatever you could to try and help me with my back during that time. Um, so I knew I didn't want to continue to do that job if I was going to be serious about CrossFit. How, how long would you be sitting in a car like, oh, God. during a day? Like, I would drive eight out. hours a day. Ooh. Yeah. And, like, I mean, I was a glorified delivery boy. Yeah. I'd just stop at different places and give them, like, goodie baskets and stuff. Like, that was my job. Ooh. Marketing rep. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't really conducive to what I was doing, eating Subway all the time. Like, yeah. It was just a pain in the butt. So Andy... Um, who, funny story about this, first time I met Andy, I was like, this guy's a douche. <laughs> I hated him. <laughs> and if you've ever seen me and Andy interact, 
Yeah, they're like best buds. Yeah, we're like yeah. freaking brothers now. Yeah. But at the first time I met him, I was like, this guy sucks. <laughs> I didn't like him at all. Uh, but we, we, he like kind of took me under his wing and showed me some things. Um, so, yeah, he mess- He texted me and he's like, hey, would you ever think about like quitting your job and working across at Grandview? And I was like, yeah, 100% I would. I think about it every day. <laughs> and uh, that's when he said that you were looking to hire me potentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, this was the summer of 2014 yep yep june like june 2014 so started working at the gym there i was uh just kind of shadowing people helping clean up this is when we were opening barbell yep kind of just getting prepped to to open barbell yeah Yeah. so it was a good time like um brandon would have me coach classes and stuff and just kind of watch me critique me and i'll never forget the first class that i like actually coached it we had it was a very similar workout to like last tuesdays i think it was like kettlebell swings box jumps and like toes to bar or something like that yeah and it was a 5 30 on a monday in the summer which is like the busiest time yeah at the gym and brandon looked at me he's like all right man you got this and i was like oh shit and i just took a deep breath and you know it just kind of came naturally yeah i was never a public speaker in school i hated doing presentations or anything but um i just fell in love with it from that moment it was like really fun just to walk around coach people and more so than anything it's like get to know everybody yeah. so that was june 2014 man i fell in love with coaching and uh that whole whole summer was just a great time just getting to know everyone at the gym um kind of finding my role at the gym mm-hmm. which was really fun we were really getting the team i remember at the time too like Everyone kind of did their own thing. Like you and Kiri went individual yep. for regionals, and then we had um, yeah. we had a team. And then Andy got hurt, and no one had kind of shook out as well. Like at region, like we had a guy girl on a team, which was cool. But after that, it was like okay, let's all like everyone pulled together. Yeah, got that team, and then you guys started like you and Kiri won like fall jam then oh you yeah guys, then yeah. you guys started doing like competitions too yep. together and started winning like all those um those little local those things. local ones like you um andy and mike and then uh katie Kiri, and, and chelsea yeah, yeah yeah that's when we kind of threw that team together yeah. so yeah the, the you know summer fall 2014 leading into that, that 2015 open yeah we had a great time we, we went up to went up to michigan did one in detroit um like you said, Carrie and I did fall jam, and we just kind of were getting ready for the open and and for regionals. So, yeah, in 2015, uh, qualified for regionals again. Uh, we went team that year. Yep. Um, and then at regionals that year, we ended up fifth and earned our first trip to the CrossFit Games. Yeah. This is my first time. Andy's first time. Carrie had been there before. You went back in what year was that? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like it, it just goes back to like that dream I had or trying to fall asleep thinking about being at the CrossFit Games it was really cool to like finally achieve that in 2015 and the other thing that happened that year is like that's the year I met Maria yeah (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. like I had just started working at the gym and um she she was a member at the gym and you know it just came very naturally like I don't want to say I pursued her too hard no you know it was like I remember asking Brandon if it was okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, like, is it cool? Like, her and I are kind of hanging out. And he, you, I remember you were like, yeah, you guys seem to like each other. It's not like you're being a creep or anything. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, her and I started hanging out, and we've been together since, like, t- fall of 2014. Yeah. So yeah. I, kn- I knew. I mean, I could see it coming when you guys were just friends, but, like, talking out by your car for an hour and a half after. Like, Absolutely. <laughs> after a class, like, you know. <laughs> Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. saw it coming. Yeah. Um, I, I it was awesome. Like, I owe so much to this gym, you know, finding her. and. No, that was, was cool. So cool. I was stoked for you guys. Yeah, that was so. Really cool. Went to the games in 2015 where we finished eighth, that which was, cool. was yeah. a really fun time. That's yeah, like, we went fifth at regionals. And the one thing, like, I mean, it was <clears throat> it was life or death to qualify in that regional. Oh, God, it was so hard. So, so hard. And, and, and uh, you know, we won events and stuff, and it was so hard to qualify. And then, like, once we got out to the games, it's like we would have won half the regionals, and we got fifth. Yeah. You know, we would have literally yeah. won half of the regionals. Which, I mean, like, it was as long as regionals were a thing, our region is the hardest region to compete in. What did we – so what was it like uh, – so our top five were all in the top ten, I think. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. 
I'm pretty sure that year. Yep. Our top five from our region were all top and ten at Mayhem the games. Mayhem won. Mayhem won. OC3 was there. Maximus, yep. us, and then Kilo was like tenth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Our, our top five was made up half of the top ten. Yeah, our region And the sucked. winners. I yeah. hated it. <laughs> yeah. It's always hard. Yep. Um, so, yeah, that was 2015, and I think we decided that year, like, hey, let's run it back. You know, we had such a good time. We had had such a good run, I remember. We were in second at one point. Yeah, like at the games, games, yeah. We were in second. We you were know, in we second were, place. We were right there, um, and it was like, you know, let's try and, try and win this thing. Yeah, it, went from, it went from, like, let's go have fun at the games yeah. to let's go win this thing Yeah, over the course of those three days. So, yeah, we kind of uh, – we. We made it a focus that whole year. Yeah. We got together once a week. We are training with the worm, like, yeah. religiously. Um, I remember what what kind of sucked was in 16, they didn't touch the worm yeah. at regionals. In 17, it was all worm. All worm. All and we worm. practiced with that worm all year round. Yeah. Like, all year, we were re- – we, we really, like – put our uh, all our eggs in that worm basket yeah. and it would have paid off the next year i know it, like they, i mean every practice you had a great worm warm yep. up for us and you know like finishing so close to winning the games in 2015 really like lit a fire under all of us because yeah. we were super dedicated going yep. into 2016 i remember like that year um my fitness kind of went to the next level it like, did, like yeah i i always had like stages in my my crossfit career and like that was the start of like that next stage just being super committed dialing the diet down like uh just getting together with those team training sessions yeah. those were a blast um and i really saw myself start to take off from there snatch 265 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh yeah that was like 2016 that regional was wild that one was so that one was the hardest that might have been the most competitive Outside of what they have with like super teams now, but that was yeah. pro- that was certainly the most competitive like CrossFit team competition I think there's ever been. Maybe outside of like Wadapalooza again, where you yeah. can get like some super teams. But so what had happened is people all doubled down. Yep, and we're we're going team even more so than fifteen. Mm-hmm. Like friendship had like you know a there, murderer's it, row of people. Yeah, like was, they had, they put their whole year just like we had into yeah. it. Um, you saw a lot of individual guys going team that year. Yes, tons. Like Maximus put all their like they had individ- lot of individual yep. people. Um, Timberwolf again. Timberwolf. Like yeah, really I forgot about that. Yeah, they like Jesus. went for it. So like everyone went for uh, like tons of like great athletes. I remember. I mean, it was like. It was ridiculously competitive. That like, year was. But it was, I'll say this. That's the year it was in Columbus, and our crowd showed up. Yeah. It was yeah, we had the wild. Best, yeah, we had the best, like, regional crowd ever. Oh, hands yeah. down. Like, we were – that crowd was nuts. We had a whole stadium, it felt like. They had, like, our faces and stuff. Yeah. And I'll never forget, like, uh, when I hit that 265 snatch, that place just went wild. Yeah. There's a video yeah. of me just, like, doing the LeBron James, like, clip celebration where he pretends to fire a gun. So, uh, remember, you guys all cleared that. All three of our guys hit 265, and what did we get, like, seventh? Yeah, we said, we, we told <laughs> ourselves, because we looked, we were the last region to go, and we were like, okay, if we can clear this snatch ladder. We're, we're top three, right? Yeah, we're going to get, we're either going to win the event or get second because, like, we knew Mayhem would do very well. On yeah. It. So we freaking cleared the snatch ladder and got seventh place. And we were like, why is our region so good? That was ridiculous. I remember that. It was like, oh my God. I like, could, yeah, and was, no other region, like, I mean, they'd have one or two teams. One, I maybe. think, like, one, I think one team up to that point had finished the snatch ladder yeah like it was going into that region. to have all three guys yeah to have all three yeah. yeah so we were like okay if we can finish this we're clearly going to win yeah maybe get second and that wasn't the case no. because our region sucked <laughs> um so we finished eighth that year at regionals didn't get to go to the game you won the final event though oh but we showed up on that final event that we won the final and with the andy having like a kind of like a, a show head to head with froning with froning <laughs> kind of trying to run and froning was coming after him like he, a zombie yeah yeah he, that is one of the coolest clips in the world so it was uh 
thrusters and rope climbs and um, we're the best at rope climbs. yeah we, we're just like the best rope climbing gym around ever um so we uh we just we told everybody like hey if we win this we have a chance to go into the games you know if the right things happen so i mean everyone just showed up we sent that thing so hard. Our, our girls gave us such a good lead, yep. and then we just didn't let off the gas. So I remember finishing my last rope climb. I'm running down and just, like, pointing to the crowd because our whole gym is just there watching us. They're going crazy. So Andy's turn, and Andy had, like, a maybe 20-second lead on Rich Froning, maybe 30, yeah. and Rich was like, I'm not letting this dude beat me. Yeah, he, he was coming for out. him. Yeah, Hot. yeah. And he usually like paces. Yeah, things. yeah, yeah. You see him like so no. methodical. That wasn't the case here. He came Sprinting. out just yeah mad. <laughs> so Andy's like, screw that dude. I'm not letting you beat me. So Andy yeah. held him off, and he finished the last rope climb, and he's running down, and he's like jumping over barbells all the way down the thing, and just pointing at the crowd, and the whole place was just going wild. Yeah, that was cool. One of the coolest moments of yeah. my CrossFit career. Yeah, that for was sure. Neat. That was really cool. God, I'll never forget that. Yeah, that got us eighth. Yeah. <laughs> we took first and got eighth. Boy, that was demoralizing. But like we said, we needed a couple of things to happen. We needed some yeah, people to like. Yeah, it was, it was a cool, it was, a, that was a cool way to like, because it was, we knew like the next year you, you were needed to go like yeah. and try and make it to the games and do your thing. And mm-hmm. like, it, it was like kind of uh, wrapping up like that, that kind of core team right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that was 2016, um, that whole year. Uh, we just kind of focused on individual stuff. Yep. Um, and during the time, you know, we're running barbell and stuff. That place really took off that year. Yep. Um, tried to, like, increase my training volume a little bit. Uh, I, I think it worked out well. I, I qualified well in that Open in 2017. Yeah. Um, I think I was, like, top 10 or something Yep. Um, out of the Open. And then finished 11th at regionals that year uh pretty bummed about that i had a bad first day because it was like the first big solo competition i did you came on real strong yeah yeah, yeah. like the first event was that run and then almost like that strict handstand push-up yeah. cindy yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. and uh you know it was just me being naive and i ran way too hard way too fast yeah and now i'm a big proponent of telling people how to pace workouts yeah, yeah, yeah. uh so yeah bad you first came day. off first didn't you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Bad first day, but I had a you know like three heat wins after that. You started winning your heat. It seemed like in every yeah. workout, like the last three or four workouts. Yeah, I, I, we're like, right there. You know. Yeah, yeah. I could have folded that day. I yeah. think I was like twenty fifth, but you know I, I was you, you everyone else just in my corner saying hey shake it off like yeah. you're fine. Um, so that was twenty seventeen then twenty eighteen. Uh, again, this is where I kind of felt myself like take that next step in my yep. fitness um did regionals again as an individual uh finished 12th that year uh this was the most fun i had at a competition like i didn't put any pressure on myself i had a blast um and i like i think maria really helped me this year yep. just having her there and just like hey like you need to have fun doing this stuff yeah. or you're not why are you even doing it you, know? you got to beat matt frazier i beat event. matt frazier on a yeah. workout i will always on that have fir- that on the first workout first yeah, yeah, workout yeah. that triple yeah. three workout so that was cool i will hang my hat on that forever every time i see him i'm gonna bring that up <laughs> hey remember when i kicked your ass <laughs> he was mad after that too he he was pissed and uh yeah that was a regionals man that R. that uh, that one um you were had had it been the events from the year before yep that was like you got good 100%. events the year before and then that year kind of the events just didn't favor your game as much yeah. in 18 and you got one place less but you were like had you flip-flopped them you would have been like honestly i think you know 20th in uh yeah. 17 and then in qualifying position in 18 i agree you know if you yeah. flip-flop the years just yeah. how you would progress you, you know what it was it was like i had one bad event at regionals and that's all it takes is yeah. one bad event and uh, i was at god damn handstand obstacle course oh yeah the hand over Which, the yeah obstacle like that i took like dead last on that and you can't come back from a dead last at regionals yeah. not in our region um and again it was one of those moments where it was like okay i need to really hammer this weakness and um, now I can run over that thing yeah, on my hands. It's, it. it's a joke now. Just because like you need to fail, 
before you can succeed at yep. something sometimes. Um, so that was like the last year of regionals that's going. Um, so leading into this year, I didn't know what I was going to do. I honestly was like, I'm going to take the year off just because I've been like beating the crap out of my body for so long. You know, it was five, five years, years of yeah, regionals. Of regionals I was like, yeah. I don't want to do this again. game season. Yeah. yeah. And in between there, you know, I was like going to Dubai, going to the Granite Games, yeah. doing all these other competitions. And Maria was like, are you having a good time doing this? I was like, honestly, no. Like, I'm always sore and beat up. And then um, I had some friends reach out to me, the, my current team, and they're like, hey, do you want to do, do you want to join a team this year? And I'm a terrible at saying no. Yeah. So I was like, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Did you guys do – you? did you do Granite Games initially with them in the no. fall? No. In the fall, I did Granite Games with, like, Paul Castillo and the two OC3 girls. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, that wasn't the same crew. Okay. Yeah, so different yeah. crew. So they reached out to me, hopped on a team with them. Um, so it's like Zach Souter, he was a regional guy. Emma Chapman, regional guy. Um, she's also like on a TV show doing stuff, which is cool. Oh, cool. Uh, what is it? Like the Million Dollar Mile. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but. Oh, is she on? She's one of the defenders. I that. saw that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I saw her on that show. Yeah. My, my uncle was like, you should do the show. And then like uh, me and Kate just watched it like last weekend. Yeah. Yeah. I, re- I was like, that girl looks really familiar. Yep. That's who that was. Yeah. Okay. She's on that TV show, which is cool. Running people down. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other girl is Nicole Holcomb and she was an individual games athlete yeah. three years in a row. Um, so she's a stud. So they hit me up and I think I was like, all right, I- I'll give this one more go. You know, yeah. I, I want to go back to the game. So um, got hooked up with Brute Strength, it, doing all of our programming and stuff, and that really helped me not overtrain. So yep. it made training a lot more fun. That's cool. And productive. So that's where we're at this year. We flew out to London, ended up winning that competition, and now we're going to the CrossFit Games um, at the end of July. So we've got a busy summer coming up. Yeah. 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 So. so you're you're moving. You're moving in what, like two, two weeks. weeks? Yep. So. Two weeks you'll be moving, and then you're getting settled, and then coming back, and you're getting married in yep. what, a month. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so we leave the twentieth of May. We're gonna come back. Um, actually, the twenty fifth and twenty sixth, we'll be in Canton for a wedding yep. and a baptism for my little niece. Then I fly to Minnesota for the Grand Games. And then I'll fly back to Philadelphia, where we will then fly back to Columbus to get married and during that time she's starting her actual residency so we're not stressed it's great <laughs> it's, it's good, we're not stressed at all um, but yeah like it's God, I, they, there's not enough words to describe the years I've had here so many firsts so many friends like I mean I owe Brandon so much he developed me not only as a coach but as a person you know like Oh, thanks. Man. Yeah, man, he took me under your wing. Uh, I learned a lot from this guy. Learned a lot from everyone at the gym. Um, I don't want to say like I'm saying goodbye because uh, you guys will see me. Like Maria's family still lives here. Um, they're in UA. So yeah, they're in UA. That's cool. Like, oh, you'll see me a lot, but you know, it's bitter. Definitely bittersweet. It's cool to to move to a new city, start my life with you know my soon to be wife. Um, but at the same time, I moved to Columbus when I was 18 years old. Went to school and. Never wanted to leave. Yeah, it's been 10 years, 10 man. 10 years of wow. just living here, having a good time. Yeah. So very, very bittersweet. Uh, going to be missed. Going to miss everyone here. Yeah, dude, this it's this one this one stings for sure. Yeah. I, you're not a replaceable. I've told you this a million times. Like, you're not a replaceable guy. Like, it's not like, you know, we're, br- we're going to bring coaches in, and we've got great people coming in behind Joey, and we're going to put out a – awesome product but it's not this isn't like a joey's not a guy you can um hire for or replace like even just your um from a skill set standpoint Mm, i appreciate that yeah uh, and like you're gonna succeed in anything you do man like whatever you want to do you can do it thank you uh like i've told you before you're you know your wife is doing some big things but you know yeah do do you too like yep. make sure you're doing i'll doing tell you big she, things. she is yeah. my biggest fan so yeah. she you know it's kind of like a blessing in disguise so once i move i don't really have a job or anything lined up so i'll have two months before the games of no work where yeah. i can just hammer that training yep so it'll be a good time um and my advice to you know my 6 30 crew is whoever's coaching that class man like 
show them the love you showed me. Just yeah. listen to them, you know. Don't don't compare them to me. That's a new person in there. Like, we're setting them up for success. Yes, we got a yes. lot of good people coming. Yes. Give everyone a in. chance. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's a completely different feel. Know that going into it, yep. and everything will be people good. People were probably weird the first time you were in there, maybe even absolutely. You know, like so, it's it's always like, you know, we have new people. We'll come and go a little bit, and just give people a chance because I think if if I have any talent, it's it's. You know, I'm I'm not no business genius or anything like that, but I think I can pick a good team. Agreed. And, and that's 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 the one thing I, I think I'm a pretty good judge of character mm-hmm. and, and people, and um, I think I've got a couple good people coming in behind you. So absolutely. And and uh, you guys will grow to love them as well. So. Oh, hands down, yeah. yeah. You guys will Scott, have a good time. Scott and Allie. And, Scott and Allie yeah. are great people. Yeah. Um, Jim's a great place. Gonna miss you guys. Right, so Joe. yeah, let's, let's uh, signing off for the last, last time. Last time, this is it, guys. Uh, hope you had a blast. Uh, I'll see you guys soon, and this does it for me in the episode number fifteen. Yeah, cool. We'll we see will you guys. See next you time. guys. Adios. <laughs>